When you think of wire wrap jewelry, you probably have something that comes into your mind of a simple crystal wrapped in copper. After almost a year of practicing and learning from different masters, in my opinion, and studying gemology, I have an entirely different picture than I once did that comes to mind. This piece represents 10 months of study, 60 hours of work, and it is something that I am truly proud to have created. When you're doing wire wrapping, you have your metal and you have your gemstones. For the gemstones, I've learned over the last year about stones of all different types and caliber. Um, I had to join the International Gem Society and I learned to vet my sources using tools of the trade like a refractometer so that I could verify that something was a real gemstone and not glass. For this piece, I picked some of the best gemstones that had some just the coolest um, it's called Phenomenon, where light hits it in a way that changes color and sends light back at wavelengths that make it look like it's glowing. I had to source these from all across the globe, from Rome to get the fire agate, and India for the citrine and the opal. Of course, wire wrap jewelry wouldn't be wire wrap without wire and um one of the special things about this piece was it was the first piece that i had built not only with uh solid sterling silver but solid 14 karat gold um the engineering on it is extremely sturdy i had had to take time to learn from two different people how to wire wrap over 10 months. Then I also studied historical um, like pictures and articles about jewelry owned by the princes of India. And that was a really strong influence in this piece of work, as you can see with the filigree. In wrapping it up, I spent over 55 hours across three weeks um, this summer building this beautiful piece that I'm so proud to own. It's really the pinnacle of where I've gotten and what I've learned, um, as well as a lot of just time and effort and love that I put into it. Um, it's the first expensive piece of jewelry that I've ever decided to own, let alone the fact that I made it myself, and that means a lot to me.